Okay, since we are home, we're gonna tackle this. The refrigerator looks like it's stuck to the gills, but honestly, I'm gonna guess there's expired food in there. There's half eaten things. Anyway, you know how it happens. This is a counter depth fridge, by the way, you guys, um, which means that it's not deep. I'll show you, we have this little secret door too. So that is very helpful. Now this over here still looks pretty well organized, but we're just gonna go through things, see what we have, see what we don't have. Try not to waste anything at all and just combine the things that can be put together. Here's what I'm working on now. So I've told you guys before that I use this mantle. I like to keep it really blank because this is sort of how I decorate for the seasons. And even though you can see up here in the skylight, there is snow up there, even though it's almost April, I really wanna get in the mood for spring. So I have, I keep that really neutral and I've got that mirror back there. And what I do is I switch out my wreaths so that is my spring sort of Easter wreath and Kevin just hung it up there for me. So now I'm gonna decorate the mantle to get it looking a little bit more spring-like. So I'm gonna start working on what I have to put up there. Hey everybody. Oh, <laughs> you wanna do your, um, your update for your weight loss? Yeah, last week I went up a pound and a half and this week I was back down two. All right. So. Last week we had a couple nights with the grandkids and I like eating ice cream with them. And all the stress of what's going on right now in the world. and Just worried about my seniors and the family, that's all. Right. And we're, so, and also we're stocked up on things that are good now, a little bit. We're not hoarding, but we are just, we have enough for two weeks like we're supposed to. Right, exactly. All right, good deal, thanks. Want to help me do this decorating? Uh, I'm going to watch some TV, I think. <laughs> I'm working on preparing some low point delicious meals that I can eat this week. And one of my favorites is chicken meatballs. And I like to put them, I'll eat them plain by themselves, or sometimes I like them next to some scrambled eggs, which I know sounds a little weird, but I love it. And one of my very favorite things to do, oh, those are looking good. We're going to let those keep going. The recipe is on my website, by the way, barrettpastor.com. But what I'm going to do also with them today is put them over some spaghetti squash. So I have my spaghetti squash here just waiting. The oven is preheating to 400. And I have this all seasoned. I season this very heavily with salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder because when it's finished, when it's done baking, then I really don't have to season it at all because all the seasoning is already in there and baked in. The fridge is done, so let me show you what we've got here. So here is our little, this is our little extra door. And that wasn't really too bad to start. We got rid of some things that were expired. And like I mentioned in my pantry, when you're seeing like enormous amounts of things, it's because there was a sale. So when there's a buy one, get one, I'm taking advantage of it. So we're trying to be sure not to buy more than we need. 
you know, and be reasonable about that, but also make sure that, you know, because we do have um, our grandkids over a lot, my daughters, all that kind of stuff. So buy one, get one free is a good thing. All right, here is the inside of the fridge. So it's a lot more organized. We've got salsas over here and some mustards, pimentos. This is just a headache stopper. And then this is the opposite side of what that little door was. So I've got my jellies up there, salad dressing, some little odd things from the grandkids coming over. And then up at the top, I've got my baskets. I've got butter up there. I've got some cheese, my built bars. And then that's kind of a citrus basket. Those are jellos and fruits and then limes and things I put in my carbonated water. And then we've got Things like garlic and pickles and uh, mayonnaise up there. Here's the eggs, we're stocked up there. This is food prep for the week. So is this. And I've got, I've got a couple little desserts I'm gonna make out of ricotta this week as well. And then Kevin has been crazy about these light and fit Greek yogurts. So we have a bunch of those. And then we have all of our sort of onions and fruits and vegetables. And down here on the bottom, we have our different cheeses. This is kind of stuffed. You know, like I mentioned to you guys, um, this is a counter depth fridge. Let me just show you. So that's one basket. That's all that fits because it's supposed to fit in your kitchen a little bit better if you have a small kitchen, which we did have a small kitchen. I know our kitchen looks kind of big now, but that is because, let me show you guys. So right where that window begins, we took a wall out. So it's a, it was a really strange floor plan, but a lot of guy, you guys know Kevin is a contractor. He's really good with all that kind of stuff. So he took a wall out and we added, even where those double ovens are, none of that was there. He built all of that because this is an older house and it's really small and, you know, we made it work. I thought I'd mention too, a lot of you guys asked me what I watch on YouTube. And one of my favorite things to watch is Food Wishes. It's not a low fat channel at all, but it's, it's all recipes. I don't know if I should put it on there or not, but that's what I'm watching right now on my iPad while I'm cooking. But I really love it because it's all recipes. All the videos are usually between like five and 10 minutes and I just kind of change them. If I love a recipe or the idea of a recipe, then I just change it to something that's more WW friendly. These are done. They took about 35, 40 minutes and I let them cool off a little bit. See all those spices in there? You just don't need to add anything. It's perfectly seasoned and that little dark charred part is my actual favorite. Sometimes if I don't cook it long enough to get that, I will go ahead and scrape it out and put it in a casserole pan, spray it with a little olive oil, and of course put more garlic powder on it because I can never have enough of that. And then I put it on broil for a couple minutes to brown it. That is actually my favorite part. So this is done. I'm gonna let it cool and then I'm gonna get it in a container. I will have this for dinner tonight with the chicken meatballs, Kevin won't eat that. He still, he won't even taste this, but, which is very aggravating, but I'll make him some regular pasta. <laughs> 